Hello friends, I am Niladri from High Quality Lead and in this new video, I will talk about the Google Spam Update of October 2022. Here in the screen you can see right now, this is one of my new blog and previously it was getting a traffic around 700, 750 impressions was getting this website and suddenly due to this spam update the traffic goes down now you can see the traffic is around 100 sometime it is 65 50 so my website traffic is completely goes down this is basically a new website and this website age is below six months actually i don't want to show the website name right now i am showing you the statistics of this website to understand that this is not the story of mine this is a story of almost all new bloggers if your website is very new that means if your website is six month old or five month old so on that case most of the cases the website traffic goes down like this due to this spam update of google few people message me in the instagram that uh, they are producing the right content no copy content no spammy content but still their website traffic goes down like this website so what is the reason behind this so what's the next and how we can get the traffic again so, so in this video we'll discuss about how we can regain the traffic and what are the mistakes i have made in this particular website first of all what you should not do as a blogger when you see that your website traffic is suddenly goes down first of all you should not do anything unusual inside your website that means you don't delete any article don't delete any plugins because you really don't know that what the exact reason behind of going down the traffic because you are producing the right kind of content no spammy content no copy content but still your website goes down your website ranking goes down so what to do in this case first of all don't panic and don't do anything unusual with your website just wait for 20 days or at least a month your website traffic may come back because this kind of update takes time to complete and this period of 15 days 20 days or one month it is taking time to analyze your website by google and after a month there is 60 to 70 percent chances of there your website traffic may come back because you are not producing any kind of spammy content or any kind of copy content but if you are producing the copy or spammy content there is a higher chance or 90 percent chance is there that your website traffic will not come back unless or until you are producing the good content or you are deleting the old spammy content so wait for a month to check that your website traffic is coming back or not this is very very important so don't do anything inside your website or don't do anything unusual second big mistake what bloggers do that when their traffic is suddenly goes down they stop producing content this is the big mistake don't stop producing content publish content like before even you can publish more content than before more frequently you can produce content if you publish more content than before then you will be in a positive side so don't stop producing content write content as usual what you were writing previously you write content as usual now come to the point that what to do in this situation in this situation we have to take care about the technical seo of our website if you are producing content then you must install the rank math or your plugin then your on page seo will be okay or if you are creating the backlinks or creating guest posts then your off page seo will also be okay 
but the main aspect is technical SEO. You have to take care of your technical SEO. What is technical SEO and how we can improve the technical SEO? For that, this is a video. Follow this technical SEO checklist for your WordPress website. You can see this video, you can watch this video to know all about the technical SEO. Because in this situation, technical SEO plays a big role to regain your traffic. If your technical SEO aspect is not good for your website, so you need to check what are the technical SEO and as per the checklist, you have to do all the things related to the technical SEO. And for particular this new website, what I have done, the big mistake that is I have not concentrated on the other sources of traffic. I only rely on the Google search traffic only. But you have to concentrate on the other sources of traffic. Like you can share your article inside Tumblr, inside Quora, inside Reddit, Medium.com, Twitter, Facebook and all other social media platforms. So this is very important. And also if possible you can create a YouTube channel around your uh, website. So on that case you can drive traffic through your YouTube channel also. So this is very important point that so you should concentrate on the getting traffic from the other sources. Don't rely on the Google only. So this is very important. Whenever you will drive traffic from the other sources, that means you are creating your brand. And if people are searching inside Google your website name or your website domain address, so on that case, there will be a positive signal to Google that your website or your uh, blog is a good one and that is a brand. So you have to create a brand for your website. And if Google get this kind of positive signals that people are searching your website. So on that case, your organic traffic will also grow automatically. For this particular new website, I have done the big mistake that I have not concentrated on the other sources of traffic. I only rely on the Google search traffic only. So this is a small video that what exactly you can do whenever your website traffic goes down suddenly and also what you should not do in this situation so that's all for today if you like this video definitely hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you will be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye